lights up. So, day two outside. I'm at a separate forest preserve today. Um, this is a old forest preserve that, uh, different one, different one. And uh, <laughs> it's an old one that I used to go to with my dad all the time, have plenty of fond memories. Don't think I have a single bad memory here. Um, and that's, uh, that's beautiful, isn't it? Just all in itself. But uh, there's a lot of people out here today. I'm just going off um, into an area where most people don't go to. Um, it's kind of secluded. But there was like hundreds of people earlier towards the entrance of this place. And there was absolutely zero parking. So, <clears throat> fun. Um, but, I don't know. I don't know. You know? <laughs> it's just beautiful to uh, be able to sit back and enjoy this. So that's what I'll be doing. Um, I'll take you guys with me along on the ride. But, uh, yeah. That's that. So... See you guys in a bit. Whoop. Oh, so, what's up? <laughs> so, um, just walking, and uh, it's like just a, a nice, cool, sunny day. Wearing my uh, Pink Floyd T-shirt. Um, you know, honestly, I never had a really uh, great appreciation for Pink Floyd um, until uh, quite recently, when I started exploring my mind and uh, exploring what it means to be a human. <laughs> And, uh, <clears throat> yeah, Pink Floyd is, is the abstract art of music. It really is. Um, and I love abstract art. I paint abstract art all the time. I should show you guys, uh, my painting sometime. But, uh, I, I love art. I love music. And, uh, Pink Floyd is definitely special. Um, it's very very special and I, I love the early years with uh, uh, Sid Barrett or whatever his name was um, I love those two albums from um, I think it was two might be three I'm not sure um, with Pink Floyd it's really sad his story if you look into that but um, I think that's some pretty good stuff the wall is really good obviously <laughs> um, and uh, oh Dark Side of the Moon is is a masterpiece. Um, and animals, actually, like everything from Pink Floyd is pretty good. <laughs> like, I, I don't think I can think of a single album that sucked from them really. I mean, there were some that were like mediocre, but nothing that ever sucked. <laughs> so yeah. Um, oh, that I gotta climb that. I gotta climb that, come on. <laughs> I have to climb that hill. Alright. Oh, here we go. Now there could be snakes out. Um, there could be ticks, there could be other creepy crawlies. Am I ready for this? I guess not, but I'm just gonna go. Screw it. I have to climb that hill. I have to go to the top and be like, I conquered the world. I love the smell of that tree over here. It just smells heavenly. It's 
someone actually uh, complimented my shirt. He's like, good shirt, man. <laughs> um, yeah, it was kind of funny. I'm like, thanks. If you couldn't tell, the weather really, really, really gets to me. Makes me, uh, really dictates my uh, emotional state. This is a steep incline. I'm gonna have to use the trees to climb up. <laughs> oh, slipping. It's a slip and slide over here. This is rough. Real rough. Alrighty, we're almost there. Look at that. We're almost there. We can make it. There's some like vomit looking crap over here. We're almost there. People over there had the same idea. And we're almost there. Almost there. Almost there. A couple more steps. There's actually a path over here. Holy crap. <laughs> Didn't know that. Alright. Top. That was rough. Not too rough though. I've done worse. And there's a path all the way down. Check that out. That would have been so nice if I saw that before. Oh. Beautiful. Alrighty. There's a log over here and that looks really nice. I think I'm gonna sit there. Alright. Mr. Log, you're my seat. Oh. That tree's split. Look at that. Come on, let's check this out. It's so funky looking. Oh. I think we had a pretty good talk here. Oh, man, I'm sweating so bad. All right, I'm gonna take out my GoPro and make some videos with that because I'm running out of uh, storage space on my phone. So let's go do that. I'll see you guys in a bit. Beautiful. Check that out. Check that out. It is something else. It is most definitely something else out here. Oh, it's so, so alive. You can feel it. Feel those leaves, just, not the leaves, I mean the, well, you can feel the leaves crunching, but you can also just smell it, the aroma of life all around you.
It's everywhere. Oh, the trees smell so great. Whew. All right. Well, we're going to follow this uh, path for a bit. And uh, we will make our way through the woods. So, let's do it. Oh, let's see. That's all zipped up. Ready to go. Alright, let's head out. Let's head out into the woods. Say goodbye to our little log over there. Goodbye log, goodbye tree, goodbye other tree. Let's make our way out. Into the woods. There's the other half of that tree. Right there. It's pretty funky. <clears throat> oh, it's so nice. I love the seclusion too. See, people tend to kind of just a tiny bit screw things up. You know? That's a hawk. Look at that. Oh my. <laughs> Do you see it? Oh my. It's swooping around trying to find its prey. so uh, majestic. <laughs> Is that the term majestic? Oh, I love it. I love it out here. It smells just like my childhood. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, I forgot. I get allergies during the spring. Oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's going to suck this spring, but I'll live. It's like literally four weeks of just straight being sick. Like, it sucks so bad. But I'll live, I'll live. I live every spring. Um, I wouldn't have uh, made it this far if I couldn't live through the allergies. So, so I'm enjoying the smells now before I can't do it anymore. <laughs> Oh, this is gorgeous. And I just love it. Just the trees, the life. It's just you and God out here. Just you and God. It's so beautiful. I mean, literally, there's not a person in sight out here. had a wave to you. I'm just joking. Oh, it really smells like spring. It really does. And it looks like fall. And it feels like, like spring, I guess. It's amazing. And we're in the middle of February. It should be like 30 below. Tons of snow, you know? You know, you know? This is, this is golden. This is golden. I have no idea where I'm going. <laughs> this might be um, not so good. But 
Who cares, right? Just, it really feels like uh, you and God. Just, uh, just you and God out here. Really does. And you know, honestly, some of my most beautiful memories actually come from the woods. Um, it's just a place where nobody judges you, you know? It's a place where you can be you and no one cares, no one, no one cares at all what you do out here. I mean, I guess to a degree they, they kind of do a little bit, but for the most part, you're pretty free out here. You can do whatever you want. No one's going to hurt you. It's just... It, it's just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful out here. And, uh... I'm in love. I'm in love with this area. There's the train. <laughs> oh, I'm in love. The fun part is um, getting out of here. I have to uh, get picked up at uh, 2.30, I think. It's 1 o'clock. And I'm going just deeper and deeper into the woods. So I'm going to be screwed getting out of here. Because <laughs> I have no idea at all how to get out of here. So, like, in a fast way. There's a bird. It's a big bird, too. It's huge. It's not a hawk, though. It's an actual bird. I love the light, it just, it's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous out there. So, yeah, later today, I'll be, uh, birds all over. Hear all that, that ruckus? That's like, literally no joke. There's just birds everywhere around me. It's crazy. And they just don't care, like, they're looking at me, and I'm looking at them, and they're literally just not caring. <laughs> so beautiful. But, uh, yeah, later today I have a uh, party to go to. Not a crazy party. Like, back in the day, you know? Back in my heyday. Um, no, just... a birthday party. My brother's birthday party to be specific. Um, so that should be fun. Connecting with family. You know? Oh, this nostalgia. It's just so beautiful out here. I, I can't even, like, <laughs> put words into it. It's just pure nostalgia. I've never been to this area, this specific area, in this wooded area. This specific area in the wooded area, <laughs> uh, I've never been to. I think this is some sort of, like, service road thing, I'm not sure. Chances are I probably shouldn't be here, but I have no idea. There was no signs, no nothing. That's always the excuse, right? But no, seriously, there was nothing, so... I just walked up the hill and started walking. And I found this beautiful, beautiful path away from everybody and everything. So I think I see the world from here. Maybe. Hopefully. Um, <laughs> but you know. Thank you.
beautiful. Check this out. Check that out. That is so cool. I'm just telling you, it's it's pure pure love out here. Pure love. So a couple weeks ago, uh, me and my dad were talking. And I always try to get really philosophical with my dad. And my dad hates it. He hates it so much, you can tell. But it bothers him because it, it's like I ask too many questions like a child would, you know? And I just get on his nerves. And uh, we were talking about this concept of, whoa, that's a snake. Was it? It's not moving. <laughs> I swear I heard a snake. Maybe not. All right, I'm just gonna walk past real quick. Pretend like nothing ever happened. All right, so we're talking about the concept of free love, you know? And if it was ever attainable, if a society could ever love one another unconditionally, a small society, nothing big, just a small society. And, uh, and it wouldn't be over-sexualized. That, that's the issue with the concept of free love. Just take out the sex. Just pure love, okay? And it could be physical, sure, but, like, there's no emphasis on that. It's just the emphasis of loving one another, like family, you know? Could that ever be attainable? Ever. And my dad was like, no, it, it couldn't. It would be, you know, corrupted and, uh, you know, there would be all this lust and, and villainy. There you go. And, uh, you know, I was arguing that it could happen. I mean, I really believe that that polygamy could work. Not that it's for me. And it might be for me. I have no idea. <laughs> I haven't figured myself out yet quite uh, at the moment, but, you know, I was arguing that I don't think it's it, you know, I, I, I just feel like one partner isn't, it's not that it's not enough, it's just like it feels wrong to restrict yourself from loving like multiple people. But then again, is it really polygamy if it's not physical? It's just emotional, pure emotional um, connection between people. And it doesn't get physical. Is it polygamy? Is that love? Because I, I believe, you know, you can love family members, right? And you don't get physical. I mean, you might kiss them or something, but you're not going to, like do anything nasty with them <laughs> you know so could you do that with multiple people and would it be wrong if they weren't related to you and like family wise I don't know it really got to me it really made me think I just I don't know And the real true question is if people could ever accept that. If they can move past their hatred for one another, move past their differences, and, and actually try to care for one another. It would be a totally different world, people. Totally different world. We're talking a whole nother universe. <laughs> I hear people. This is definitely some back roads path. I see a big path over here. I have no idea where I'm at, I'll be honest with you. 
Oof, this is so muddy. So muddy. Yeah, this is... I think I actually made it back to the main road. It's crazy. Let's check this out. Let's see where we're at, because I have no idea. I think we're back on... Yeah, we're back on the main road. Holy crap. was a journey. Hi. All right, so clearly we are back. Back to civilization again. Check that out. It's funky. Really, really funky. Super funky. I mean, look at that drop. <laughs> it's a good 100 feet, maybe. Maybe a little less than that. But actually, maybe more. It'd be like 150 at the top, you know. I want to go on that side. <laughs> oh. There's some trees that uh, got knocked down. A little bridge. <laughs> Think it would die, but you know, whatever. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure you'd die if you put your weight on that. That would be a well, maybe not. Look at that. That would actually be a perfect bridge, but. Yeah, I'd, I'm not that crazy. Because I'm, I'm that one person that's going to die. <laughs> Knowing myself, you know. Oh. It's so cool out here. Like, oh my god. <laughs> this is so cool. I've never been here, like, to this part ever in my whole life. It's such a new experience to me. Wow, it's like only me out here. I mean, there's people around, but you get what I'm saying. It's just like being alone. It's so nice. You know, I don't really realize the, the beauty of loneliness until it's uh, there. There's the train. Want to check it out? It's coming. It's coming. Here it is. Let's follow this, uh, Pipeline, why not? <laughs> Sounds good. Uh, you know, I'm kind of getting hungry, and I did not bring food. Oh, man. That's so bad. And it's not like there's any uh, food out here. I mean, technically, I guess there could be some sort of berries or something. Maybe mushrooms, if I'm lucky. But... Um, that doesn't really fill you, and there's not enough of it, so... And plus, I'm not really that educated on the topic, so I'd probably get myself killed. <laughs> or tripping balls, and that that's not fun either, if you're not expecting that. So, you know... <laughs> oh, 
Oh, you gotta love the graffiti. I love it. Some beautiful stuff right there. Golden. All right. I'm gonna flip the camera around and we'll continue right. on. So I'm the only crazy person to decide to walk down some gas pipeline. Hey, I have a lighter. I can blow myself up, right? <laughs> Pretty sure that would be um, not so fun. Plus, it's underground. You'd have to start digging for it, and that's yeah, not 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 fun. So let's continue on on a lighter note. I love the power lines. I love them so much. It's not the power lines themselves, it's just what they represent to me, which is not only this forest preserve, which has these power lines, these big, big massive behemoths um, called power lines. Um, it also represents, I guess, just industrialization, the beauty of, of society, what it could be is this big, grand, massive, you know, thing. It, it's, society really is a monster, but it's, uh, it could be so much, you know? It could be so great. Only if. All right, warning. What's the warning? I, I don't understand. It just says gas pipe cross thing. Oh, this is private property, isn't it? That's probably what that means. <laughs> it didn't say no, cr like the woods are right there. This might be private property. That, uh, that's a rough one. I don't know, because it never said no trespassing. So, you know, how was I supposed to know? It's connected to the woods. The woods are right here. They're right there, so fuck it. I'm gonna keep walking. <laughs> well, you know, sometimes I can be real cocky. I'm not gonna lie. Listen to that buzz. I love power lines, I'm telling you. And supposedly it scrambles your brain and makes you crazy, but I love them. I want to make it to the bridge. That's my goal. Make it to the bridge. And then, uh, which I think this is a separate forest preserve I'm actually walking straight into. And if that's the case, dude, I'm, I'm going to be fucking ecstatic. Sorry for my language there. I, I'd never swear on this channel. Never my life but uh there's something right there that's not good looks like a baby carriage or something it's actually pretty creepy <laughs> whoa that was a bee yeah what is that there's some houses over here this is weird lawn furniture. This is getting weirder by the second, I'm telling you. Yeah, those are chairs, I think. Yeah, like broken chairs. It's so weird. It's grand. Great. bridge is so far away. I don't want to walk all the way over there, but I sort of do, you know? Like, there's that, that temptation, you know? Bite the apple. Bite the apple. Bite it now. Just a little bit crazy. Just a little bit. That's why you guys love me, so. You know. 
oh, I want to, I really want to go there. Because I've been to this bridge before and there's so much graffiti and crap. It's so cool. It's so cool. If I can actually make it out there, walking back to the bridge though. I have a, an hour to get back. So literally, once I go here, I have to turn around pretty much instantaneously. So, that's fun. Maybe it's not this bridge, though. That's the... <laughs> oh, man, I'm going to feel so stupid if this is the wrong bridge. <clears throat> All right. I'm going to switch to my other camera because I'm getting kind of sick of this view. And uh, I'm running out of memory. So, continuing on. Here we go.